Hello and welcome. This is TVC News at 7. Well, let's begin with uh, our coverage of uh, the extradition of uh, self-proclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namde Kano. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, has announced the re-arrest of the self-acclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namde Kano, by operatives of Nigeria's security intelligence. The AGF made this known to journalists in a joint press briefing with the Inspector General of Police. Judiciary correspondent Celestine Aria reports. Three years after jumping bail, the Nigerian government has intercepted Enamde Kano. Enamde Kano was on 14th October 2015, arraigned by the federal government over allegations of terrorism, money laundry, and treasonable felony. On 28 March 2018, his bail was revoked by Justice Binta Inyanku of the Federal High Court. Self acclaimed leader of the proscribed secessionist indigenous people of Biafra. Namdi Kanu has, for your information, been intercepted through the collaborative efforts of the Nigerian Intelligence and Security Services. He has been brought back to Nigeria in order to continue facing trial after this affair while on bail regarding 11 count charge against him. At the resumed seating, counsel to the federal government applied for Mr. Kano to be remanded in the custody of the DSS. Justice Bintanyan granted the application pending when Mr. Kano's counsel is notified of his arrest. Nandi Kano was hooded in black and smuggled out of the court by the DSS through exit used by judges. The matter was adjourned till 26th of July 2021. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja. In the meantime, IPOB lawyer and lead counsel to Namde Kano, Ifanye Geo4 says he has confirmed through a correspondence from the Federal High Court Abuja the arrest and extradition of his client. Barrister Geo4 said he was brought before the Federal High Court Number no. 2 Abuja today on an 11 count charge, through, though without his knowledge. Following the judgment, adjournment rather of the case to the 26th of July 2021 for continuation of trial. He says a legal team led by him will be in court on this date. He says Namdi Kano must be given a fair hearing and trial, which is his constitutionally protected law. Our judiciary correspondent Celestine Aria was at the press briefing announcing Namdi Kano's rearrest. She joins me now from Abuja studio for more on this. Uh, Celestine, what more do we know between the last time you reported and uh, now about this case involving Namdi Kano? Was just to ask for a remind order, application was brought forth before her, and the court granted the order, ordering that uh, Mr. Kano be remanded in the court of the DSS, pending where his lawyer is notified and arrested. And from what you've said earlier, uh, you said before you now you know that his client has been arrested. So July 26th, we'll hear uh, what is going to happen and moving forward. And we know the circumstances that led to him being granted bail in the first instance and him jumping bill and the controversy surrounding him jumping bill. But I will continue as uh, I don't know if maybe probably uh, Mr. Ejifa will bring another application for bail because constitutionally based on the discretion of the courts and every defendant is entitled to bail, but it's the court not. So come 26th of July, we'll know what happens from there. All right, Celestina, thank you very much for that update. Celestina Ria is our judiciary correspondent. Thank you again. 
Well, reactions have started pouring in on the rearrest of IPOB leader Namdekano. For Igbo Sociocultural Association, Hanez and Igbo Worldwide, uh, Namde Kano's detention will avert another civil war and bring peace to the southeast. In a statement by the Secretary General of the Association, Okechuku Isiguzoro, he said Kano's refusal to listen to Igbo leader's advice led him to his present predicament. The group advised the federal government to handle the IPOB leader's case carefully in order to prevent violent revolt from his followers. The IPOB leader is facing charges bordering on treasonable felony instituted against him at the Federal High Court, Abuja.